Hi, Cancer. Uh, welcome in. As per request from what you guys wrote in your comment section, I have come back to do a weekly reading for you. I have taken the Aquarius slot. I don't know how they're going to feel about that. But okay. Um, let's see what's going on for you guys first to second week of May. All right. Let's see. What's the situation for Cancer, please? Dude, seriously? The first card that comes out is death? For real? Maybe you do need me more than them right now. Holy crapola. Nothing's changing, okay? I just need to tell you this. Um, those of you that do follow me, look at all this major arcana. Those of you that do follow me, um, you know I'm not a sugar coater. Those of you that are new, yes, I mean, maybe you will find me a little bit emotionally insensitive. I'm sorry about that. I just feel that this is a shortcut. Um to understanding our problems and our issues and what's coming towards us and how we can target this issue, okay? Because this is still an enlightenment channel. And enlightenment means to enlighten yourself, okay? To open up your human construct, to understand your patterns, the, the people that you choose to date, um, the things that you keep doing uh, over and over again, uh, expecting some different circumstance or outcome, uh, thinking that everything is external and not internal. All of that we cover with Tarot with what we see when we drop your cards. So for you guys right now, this current situation I'm looking at is death and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. There's a lack of change here in this situation. The interesting thing about death card is something has died, okay? And sometimes we have a metamorphosis. So it's like a caterpillar that comes out of its cocoon as a butterfly. This is kind of like what's going on with you, but it might be minus someone else. When I see the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it's talking about your situation. There's a, there's a lack of change. It's not turning into a butterfly. It's just staying dead. It's like, where's the fucking phoenix? It's not coming out of the ashes. Again, we will clarify and we'll see what's going. And a lot of you, I hate to say it, this has something to do with your commitment or your marriage because this is at the bottom of the deck. However, behind that is also an Ace of Pentacles, something new. That's trying to come in for you separate from what you have gone through you you guys are like rubber bands you will bounce back you, you're the only you're like one of those zodiac signs in the zodiac wheel that bounces back pretty quickly it might not feel that way right now but you do now uh let's see what's coming towards you what's coming towards my cancer Someone is going back and forth in regards to your foundation, okay? The person that you're living with, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your company, your business, your career. That is what the Four of Wands stands for. It stands for the pillars of your life, the structure of your home. Um, and ironically enough, these are both wands. This is the actions that you're taking towards that situation. Back and forth communication here with someone or actions because that's what ones are they are actions and this is in regards to somebody who dropped um the investment into something so if you were buying a home you let it go if you had a relationship you let it go whatever you invested time energy and money in it's being dropped uh let's continue when i clarify i'll get more details uh so stick with me now what doesn't cancer see coming what's the surprise for cancer Somebody between the two of you is refusing to let this all fall apart. Sometimes when we want a metamorphosis, when we have a tower moment, the tower means your foundation has collapsed. Your marriage has collapsed, your job, whatever it is, it's collapsed. There was a big fight, there was a big breakup. But it looks like somebody's returning to the scene of the crime. Trying to repair the damages, trying to put like band-aids over the wounds, trying to recover what was lost. Sometimes you just can't. Even if you're meant to go back to this person or this situation, you really need to let the past fall away because it was built out of straws and napkins and you want something built out of brick and mortar. You want a real true foundation cancer. So someone's going back instead of letting it go, okay? That Ace of Pentacles still wants to come in towards you. So I almost feel like, Cancer, that the universe is doing this to you intentionally because they almost feel as if there's a reward that's coming towards you. You know how to receive it. 
most people don't they deny it they reject it they stick with the past they don't let things go um but let's see what's going on here with you let's see your advice that's going to be interesting in regards to this reading it's going to tell me a lot more what's happening to you the devil is here crossed by oh wow the star okay so a lot of you and judgment that's three major arcanas i told you the universe is corralling you they're surrounding you and that's what major arcanas are to me that's the faded stuff that is the almighty powers that descend upon us to guide us to course correct us in life right okay well you have two of those in your advice position and i always feel in all my readings throughout my spread that the advice is always beneficial and it's accurate to your current situation especially who resonate with this storyline now with the devil here crossed by uh, the star card some of you guys are challenged to see the brighter side in something um you're feeling like something is hopeless like something is never going to measure up for you or that a you're not good enough you're never going to make enough for money you're never going to have a st stability again you're never going to have a perfect family that's the shit that the devil does to us okay we people don't do these things to us we do these things to ourselves we let the devil get control of our head in our head they they see a little bit of fear inside ourselves and they 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 attach themselves they glue themselves onto our fear and then they expand on it so the fears start multiplying especially when you're challenged to see the brighter side of something or to be hopeful and positive again the bottom of the deck is judgment making a judgment call for something that's not forthcoming or coming into you and under that is the two of wands seeing the future and under that is the world which is a fresh new start in your life new chapter new journey new path new cycle with an ace of cups under that fresh new start in love You're well on your way you don't see this right now i see this i see this for you honestly six months to a year from now different life for you cancer different life all new stuff it's you getting through this right now. Let's see what your outcome is. Some of you could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ten of swords in reverse, backstab, betrayal, um, but somebody's trying to go back to it, okay? Someone's trying to... Um, undo the damage that they've done man these aces are coming down the road let's start clarifying everything here for you cancer because that's the outcome for the week somebody wants to undo the damage that they did you it's like they're uncertain you just are processing what's happening here you know what's going on but you're also looking at it for what it really is you're like i'm 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 trying to like see through this but i don't i see the situation as being hopeless that it's toxic and spirits like yeah maybe you need to see that that's exactly what you need to see cancer that something here is toxic and it could be hopeless let's see what is the wheel of fortune in reverse and death look at all these major arcanas that you have in this reading half of them are major why is that a big deal for a tarot reader 78 cards in the deck one third of them is major arcanas the rest are minor minor arcanas are your free will your choices your day in your day out your basic shit in life major arcanas when they come out that's the faded stuff that's the stuff where they try to support you uh, keep you grounded keep you positive keep you hopeful keep you on your path keep you on your journey and your destiny okay and that's what's happening here this stuff looks to me like it's putting you on in your path to your destiny but it, right now you've got this one hurdle that you need to deal with because when I'm seeing here the wheel in reverse the star challenged the tower in reverse the devil this, this is a lot of shit. Look at this. I'm looking at the bottom of the deck as the three swords in reverse. It's healing from this pain. Go for it. Tell me what death is. And death. 
if you want me to tell you what the signs of the majors are in case you're dealing with these people i see sagittarius i see pretty much all the fire signs leo aries but death is scorpio the devil is capricorn aquarius and scorpio and libra just came out right now for justice uh, you are getting your justice. If some of you are getting a divorce, because it might be that situation here, you will win out. You will succumb to this challenge and you will rise above it. Um, others of you, if this is not a divorce or something legal with the court system, this is somebody coming back to do you justice. You're getting karma. Karma correction. And those of you, you know how karma works. You do something bad, karma's going to kick you when you're down. When your chips are down and out and you've got no hope, they kick you some more when you've done some fucked up shit. When you've been um, a victim and you've been karmically correct, they also reward you. All right, let's see what's going on here uh, with this Eight of Wands and the Four of Wands. And that's what you're getting, karmic rewards right now. This is why I'm telling you this, for what you've been through. Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, some of you guys, you're not in a happy mood right now, actually. You're you're very angry. Um, something stopped working, something stopped moving. You're a bit angry, and you're very frustrated. Uh, some of you could be even lashing out to people. All right? If this isn't you... Then you're dealing with another female that's a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who's a total bitch, plain and simple. All right, and I speak generally like this because you're a large audience and you're on YouTube. This is not a private reading, so we speak in regards to who this person is because this is an energy. So you're having communication here with somebody being quite bitchy. Could be you, could be them. Uh, very angry. What is the... Um, Power in reverse. Challenge position. What's this? Someone here is challenged to see the abundance between the two of you. That's the problem. Also, for some of you, maybe it was unrequited love that broke you up in the first place, but now you have a runner chaser dynamic. Somebody's having doubts. They're going back and forth. Yep, somebody let go of the investment in you. And now there's a runner chaser situation. All right, let's continue. Let's see your advice, Cancer. Ace of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. Um, you're not going to get the whole entire truth. You're not going to get to. You're not going to get to know the complete game plan here in a situation. But you do have some new financial opportunity coming your way, Cancer. Um, others of you, this is a solid new start in something else. It could be a relationship. Exactly. Someone's keeping secrets. Whatever this new start is, somebody's holding their cards close to their vest here. They're not putting their cards on the table. But they are giving you a new opportunity. But for that reason, I don't know if you sense it intuitively. It makes you feel like, it, the situation is hopeless you need to remain positive right now all right and you're dealing with some toxic situation that you need to get rid of but you do have a new opportunity and spirit is encouraging you to go in that direction all right even though if you don't have all your facts let's see what this uh king of wands this ten of swords in reverse is some of you this person wants to talk about this ending this betrayal they want to yep they want to restore balance they want to restore peace Ugh, they want to collaborate with you and work with you and to what regard i have no idea because this is only a weekly reading i surmise in the following weeks we will know <clears throat> any indication oh god this card's just spilled out the only thing it's going to do is cause confusion, Cancer. For sure. It's going to be confusion on your part because you might have a second opportunity or a second option here with someone else. And I'm starting to suspect that's what it is. 
but there's a lack of communication. So because of that lack of communication, you might get confused as to what your um, what option to take in the near future. Um, but that's a little ways down the road. What's going on for you right now is this. You dealing with this. But spirits like this is your advice. Also, for some of you with this Ace of Swords in reverse, you don't need to tell everybody your plans. Nope. They don't got to know what you're doing. Even if they're asking you. What do you see here? You have chemistry here with somebody. And it's safe for you to love. I have a feeling you, you guys are going to be dealing with somebody new. Uh, after something else had collapsed for you. And you have chemistry with this new person. This is why you have these aces here. Because someone is trying to come back and maybe confuse you. But I don't think you will be. I think you will, you will know what's what. Your intuition is very, very um, high right now. Let's see what the Wisdom House of Night has for you for advice. And then if you're so inclined, I have a new Oracle deck that's a motivational deck. Talking about unlocking your own magic because, like I said, this is still an enlightened channel. That's ripping off the Band-Aid type of Oracle card. So I don't know if you want to deal with that, but if you are so inclined, stick with me to hear that out. Oh my God, I love it. Beauty. And we are right now in uh, Taurus season, which the, their, their ruling planet is Venus. And that's what this is all about. Beauty. Seeing the beauty in things. Seeing love as you are that type of creature in the first place. Which is what makes people attracted to you. Every rose has its thorn, and the symbol of beauty reminds you that beauty is never perfect. Just as a beautiful experience you will have will not be perfect forever. Meaning that, you know, some of our some people on our path and our journey could be temporary. It's beautiful when it was beautiful, but then it's not. And sometimes being imperfect is part of it also. When you revel in the beauty that is true, you can look at yourself in the mirror and realize that you're already perfect as you are, Cancer. When you choose the symbol, it's a sign that beauty's all around you. Keep a positive attitude. Expect wonderful things, and they're going to come to you. See yourself as beautiful and know that beauty is not just skin deep. It includes quality that lie well beneath the surface. Look for this truer beauty in others as well, and always look beyond appearances. Okay, interesting. Now, let's do this one. Leading in your own magic. I always wonder what card people are going to get. The last card for, uh, who did I just do? Sagittarius. I was, oof. It was a very strong message. I don't know how they're going to take it. I guess we'll see. <laughs> what do you have for Cancer Spirit? What, what, what message would you like to share with Cancer, please? This is way too many. I would like far less. One or two at most, spirit. Oh, sticking. All right, there we go. Shark. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Swim away from the situation. And you are a water sign. How interesting. So let me see what it's going to say here. Swim away from the situation. Think of this as the lovers reverse from traditional tarot. You've been hanging around a bloodthirsty shark and they've hurt you before. This could refer to a lover or it could refer to another loved one, such as a friend or family member. To put it simply, you deserve better treatment and you're never going to find it with them. Nothing's changing. The wheel in reverse. You deserve better treatment and you're never going to find it with them. Leave now. Situations like this often grow so dire that you no longer feel safe swimming with them. Swim away. Holy shit. So true. So very true, Cancer. All right, my beautiful little crabs. I'll see you next Sunday. Let me know down below.